Hey, welcome back to DIY RV and Home and Camper's Life. Last few trips out camping, my wife uh, has been telling me that the faucet in the kitchen is uh, kind of loose from the counter. So today I'm going to take a look at that and see what we got to do to fix that. So let's swing around, show you what the issue is, then we'll dive in and figure out how we're going to get this thing fixed. So now here's our uh, faucet. And as you see, let's make sure you're in focus. The whole unit on the bottom is wobbling and spinning. So instead of just the top spinning as it needs to. So let's jump down. Let's look underneath the sink and see what we have to do. All right, I've got you positioned underneath the sink so you can see what it looks like from bottom. Right here is the hoses for the water lines. <clears throat> this right here happens to be the nut that holds the faucet in on. So let me just undo that real quick and I'll just show you. So you see it started on quite a ways. That's the way ours is. Now I'm going to show you a picture right here of some other styles that are out there. So depending on what you have, if you have a similar situation, you might need to go get a special tool and boom right there is a picture of that upwards up to a couple different styles of tools for stuff but just know that even though it's up here behind the sink you can still get to it so we're gonna leave that loose for a minute I don't want it fully tightened yet because I want to take you back up and show you something I want to do up there first so now before I get too crazy tightening it back up and calling it good I want to go ahead and raise it up. I'm going to take this old silicone right here that they had as a sealant and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I'm going to reinstall the faucet tight again and then reseal it up. Got the supplies I need. Right here you can see I've got the Geocell ProFlex RV sealant. Now I use that sealant on the side of the trailer uh, for uh, some of the different uh, covers and stuff like that that are out there. Uh, works great for that. Uh, some of the seams. Uh, up on the roof, use Dicor and stuff like that. But that's why I have this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, use it right there. Maybe it won't yellow out too. I don't know, man. That was factory stuff. So, I'm going to set you up, get this up, and we're going to kind of get that cleaned up first. Then we're going to go ahead, stick her down. I'll show you how I'm going to keep that nut in place. And we'll get it sealed up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of my denatured alcohol that I have. Keep that in the trailer so that we can uh, clean stuff up. We're going to go ahead and clean the area around. We'll wipe around the faucet a little bit. Okay. Now we've got it looking pretty good. Back in place. Get it centered up where we want it and then I'm gonna go ahead and so I talked about the cock I'm gonna be putting right up here when I get it all tightened down but first I'm gonna just take and squeeze out just a touch don't need much Ooh. it's a partial uh, cartridge so when I was squeezing it it came out quite a bit a lot more than I needed so I'm going to take some of it and just get rid of it be careful because that stuff can get all over the place now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to touch it on the threads towards the top just a little bit hopefully the camera got that 
All I'm trying to achieve with that is just to act as kind of like a uh, locking nut to keep the vibration uh, from loosening it up. I'm not trying to put it in place permanently because, boy, I tell you what, I'm probably going to want to change this out one day. So now for me, it's just a simple getting that nut back on, that large nut, and just tighten it all the way up. Again, you might need a, a tool, and I'll show you a couple of the different tools that are available for doing uh, tightening up these sinks, faucets. And of course, you just see my hands working. Uh, my head is, I can't, I cannot see the nut. I'm just doing this all by feet. Okay, now it's tight. It's snug. I want to check, make sure it's in line. And then come back down and try to get. All right, so we got the nut tight. You can see it's not moving anymore down below. It's not spinning down here, but it is spinning where it's supposed to. Last thing to do is go ahead and get this siliconed up. So I'm gonna put the camera back down, we'll get it siliconed up, and we'll call this project done. So as you start to put this down, just put a little bead around. When you come to a point where you have to stop, go ahead and release the uh, plunger on the caulking gun and that'll help to keep it from uh, continually squirting out on you so let's see then come back in and just slowly squeeze and then come back around once you get to a spot where you can't get no more release the trigger release the plunger and that way, it doesn't continue to squirt out on you. Saves getting a mess all over the place and it actually saves uh, on wastage of the caulking product. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look that great. Next trick, and I'm going to turn my water pump on. Put that over there. I'm taking get my finger wet and this I'm gonna take and this happens to be a glass cleaner okay but you can take something just kind of squirt the area get it a little damp make sure your finger is damp we're gonna come in and we're gonna wipe around what this is doing is the silicone doesn't like to stick to wet so it's not going to stick to your finger it's not going to stick to anything else that already hadn't had the silicone on it so you can make a nice little bead with the silicone so you're Silicone looks nice. Alright, so as you saw, I went ahead and put silicone around the faucet. And then I took and spritzed a little bit of uh, window cleaner, uh, just something I had right readily available, just over it. And then I used a wet finger and wiped it down. What that'll do is that will keep the silicone from sticking to the rest of the counter and the faucet where I don't want it to but where I've already stuck it down it's gonna stay so I can actually wipe it and get a nice looking bead there so let's take a look faucet is not moving where it's not supposed to and it's moving where it's supposed to took a little bit of silicone underneath put it on the thread so when I threaded it up it's going to act like what they call a nylock nut 
help keep it from loosening it up while vib you know while traveling down the road or any vibrations um, you know all right so if you like the video please hit that like button subscribe share the video and until the next time we meet happy camping